Hi there church family, today for our Sunday Moravian daily text reading we are in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4 to 9. Um, if you've, I know I normally do the psalm reading but I thought this was really good for us today so if you've not read Isaiah 50 4 to 9 just pause, take a few minutes to read it and then re-watch the rest of this video. There are two parts to today's reading that I just want to reflects on the first part is Isaiah's prophecy around the suffering of Jesus and you, you probably notice that verse 6 onwards and I just thought as we journey towards Easter as we're on this Lenten journey it is really good and appropriate and valuable to really reflect on the suffering of Jesus and what he actually endured and went through uh, as a punishment for us, for our sin, for God's wrath to be upon him so that we could escape that wrath and enjoy relationship. And so um, Isaiah, uh, hundreds of years before Jesus, speaks prophetically around um, a Messiah, a saviour who would offer his back willingly to be beaten, his cheek to have his beard pulled out, did not hide his face from mocking and spitting. Um, all, we, we know Jesus died on a cross, but that suffering that built up to the cross was so shameful for him to endure so that we don't have to experience shame. Only God's pleasure and approval. The second part, I want to come back to the first bit of the reading, which is verse four, which has just been really um, key idea for me over the past few years that I felt the Lord instructing me in actually and, um, and and what Isaiah is saying is that um, God is able to give me to give you a sustaining word for those who are weary as we listen to him as we receive that word from him each morning and Isaiah says um, that God wakens him morning by morning, wakens his ear to, to listen like one who is being taught and instructed. Uh, it reminds me of that um, verse in Psalm 17, verse 17. Again, a really important verse to me over the recent years what, that talks about how the Lord counsels us through the night as we sleep. Uh, and one of the spiritual disciplines, I suppose, that I've tried to develop over the last few years as somebody who wakes occasionally in the night, someone who perhaps wakes hours before the alarm clock goes, is just to, in that moment, invite God to speak to me. So if I wake in the night, if I wake before the alarm clock, I just lay there and say, Lord, I'm listening. Instruct my heart. Give me revelation. Speak into my heart. Uh, often I fall asleep, but that's often the place where I receive revelation or a key word for that day. But of course, it's not just for us. Isaiah is saying that this, this word that we receive is a word that sustains the weary. And I just want to encourage us to think very carefully today, to reflect today about how we use our words. Uh, the power of life and death is in the tongue. We can use our words to build up or to tear down, whether it be words in person or whether it be words, particularly on social media, to reflect on are we using, are we hearing God's word? And then are we speaking that to bring about encouragement to the weary? We, we all of us experience weariness, especially in these days in which we are living in. So let's be people who refresh the weary with our words of encouragement. As you um, speak to your kids today, as you speak to your family today, as you speak to your friends, send them a text, a word to refresh the weary. Post something on social media today that's good news, that encourages people, that gives thanks for people, that celebrates people. Um, as you connect with the world around you that don't know Jesus, let's be people who are different from the world, who don't point out uh, people's faults, who don't pull people down, but who build people up. What might the Lord be wanting to speak to your heart this morning so that you can refresh others with that life-giving Kairos Rhema word? 
Have a wonderful day in his presence.